going to talk a little bit about the snake roll in recurve, one of my favorite bows of all time. Okay, it's a very good training aid. It's got two sides. Okay, this is one. Of, I, this is one I recommend for uh, a beginner, right? Because you can shoot off the left hand, and you can also shoot off the right hand side. Okay, so I recommend this for family. Um, okay, now as far as arrows, I'm telling you guys what I recommend for arrows. My accuracy went up immensely by, uh, I got the Fleetwood 800s. Okay, so I know some people were saying, use 600, use 600 grain, whatever. Um, I would say, uh, I use 800, okay? It's, it's just a little bit better. And the arrow flies actually straighter, much straighter. The 600s, I mean, I was having spreads all over the target, okay? And that was last year. And, my, and I haven't shot in like several months, okay? Especially outside. And the elements, you have wind, you have uh, temperature, all these things affect your arrow. I know a lot of people say it's just wood arrows that are affected. I've personally noticed, just me personally, I've noticed that with these arrows right here, which are not made out of wood, um, solely, I noticed that it's all over the place. If I shoot inside my house, almost, I'd say about 85% accurate. Outside, there's something about the temperature, about the wind, about everything that factors into my uh, arrow just flying all over the place, okay? So, I got the 800 uh, Fleetwood. These are Legion, okay? Highly recommend this arrow. It's uh, it's very comfortable, and I'm actually hitting the target. So, usually when I do my recording, I have to do my recording with my, my other bow, my brown bow. That one's out of commission permanently. So, I'm, having, I'm forced to use this for a while. So, I had to like, okay, I got to figure out why I'm so inaccurate with this bow. Well, I just switched from 600 to 800, and my arrows actually fly a lot straighter. I'm a lot more accurate. Uh, it's no longer just accuracy within my house. Now, in my house, if I'm shooting, like doing some CQB stuff within my house, uh, typically I can hit the target easy. I know there's no factors at all and it's a lot closer, but still, I notice that, man, I'm like just way more accurate. Outside, I recommend, this is just what I recommend, this personally works for me. Uh, I got a 31 inch draw, so I've got some pretty long arms, okay? So I highly recommend the 800s. Uh, it's very, very simple. Once again, I could shoot off both sides of the bow uh, if need be. I typically, I put a little bit of cant in my shot just to get myself a little bit of, uh, so I can actually see my target. Okay. So that's what I typically do when it comes to my uh, recurve. A lot of people say, this is the nicest bow I've ever seen. And I think, honestly, it's my favorite. It's just the aesthetics on it, it looks, looks awesome. It looks amazing. Um, the bow just looks so cool. I mean, it's like the sickest looking bow ever, even though it's like super, super weak, okay? It's super, super weak. I'd say out of full draw, I'm gonna have to say it's probably, me at a full draw, I'm probably about 28, 29 pounds full draw. Now, obviously the shorter arms you have, the less draw you're gonna have, or less power you're gonna have. So. Well, full draw, 31, that's just probably as far as it's going to go. I can get some decent power off of it. So, and so I can get like a, a, a new professional bow. For now, I'm going to be shooting this thing. I love it. And you don't see me upset about it, okay? So I'm just going to take like one shot for you guys just so you guys can see. But it's very, very comfortable. Okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something. The Snake Recurve is a beautiful bow. I love it. Um, so hopefully if you guys have any questions, just leave some questions in the comment section, uh, about this bow. Uh, I actually got a new string for it too, as well. The tiller was off on it a little bit, but they were actually able to kind of help me adjust it just a bit. Okay. So that's my thoughts on the snake recurve. I know you guys have seen me shoot this thing in the past, but you know, like I said, this is just my personal opinion. If I'm going to shoot this thing, it's a great family bow guys. It's an excellent family bow. My wife shoots right-handed. Micah and Jordan shoot both shoot left-handed, so it's kind of interesting. Emery, when she gets old enough, she's going to shoot right-handed. So it's a bow for the entire family. Um, you don't be like, oh, man, I forgot my, my right-handed bow because I have my left-handed because I'm a left-handed shooter. So I actually can adjust off this and say, hey, if all, if all I had was this bow and I had to took the whole family out to the field, I could use this bow all day long. It's super, super easy, okay? Um, so that's all I got for you guys today. Also, one final tip for you guys, uh, if you're still watching the video, is when you're going out shooting, I know you guys have seen me shoot at targets, like I'll have clay pigeons or I'll have uh, glass bottles. Um, if you want to waste arrows, you can do that. 
typically I don't recommend that. I recommend just shooting at a target. Shoot at your target, collect your arrows, come back. I know you're gonna get bored and say, man, I can pick up that glass bottle and shoot it. It'll be really cool to hear it crash and scatter. Uh, you're gonna be wasting a lot of arrows just doing that, okay? So my recommendation is to shoot <laughs> the target, okay? Shoot the target. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys learned something. Love you guys. Peace.